am I? Man, I'm just someone new Now I got a camera crew I just point and they shoot Oh jeez, oh my, there I go again You don't score enough for me, no offense Oh jeez, oh my, there I go again You don't score enough for me, no offense Oh jeez, oh my, there I go again You don't score enough for me, no offense Oh jeez, oh my, there I go again you don't score enough, I mean no offense. All through my legs. <laughs> Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Moose and welcome back to another episode of Dallas Stars Franchise. So in today's video guys, for the first few minutes, things are going to be a little bit different. Of course, as you know, I usually have my face cam up during my videos. But for the first few minutes, unfortunately, the file got corrupted while I was recording. So I'm actually filming this intro after I already recorded. And until my face cam shows up, I also have to use the audio that I'm using on this headset to record onto my gameplay. So the audio might not be quite as good as it usually is. Luckily enough, I was able to catch on to the problem only a few minutes into recording. So I am going to have a face cam after just a few minutes. It's just for the beginning of this video that the audio quality is going to be a little bit lower than what you guys are used to. And of course, there will be no face cam. But yeah, I just want to let you guys know that before starting today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. So here we are at the beginning of December. The boys are 14-6-1. That's good enough for first place in the Central Division with 29 points. Of course, the Avalanche also have 29 points. So looking ahead at the schedule now, guys, we are 21 games into our season. We're going to get our two gameplays in as we usually do. But I do think I want to get a good chunk of this season simmed. I think I want to get around 30 to 35 games done total today. And I think I'm actually going to send the next 15 games total. And that is going to lead us to this matchup against the Pittsburgh Penguins. So I will see you guys there. And I will let you know if anything crazy happens as far as injuries or transactions while I'm simming. All right, so I just finished simming all those games. The boys are 23, 8, and 5. Tyler Sagan is our team leader in points. He has 32 points in 36 games with 18 goals and 14 assists. We are still first place in the central division with 51 points I, like it a lot. I am extremely happy with how this team has been playing and i've been thinking about it since the last episode when do i maybe pull the trigger on a trade i was debating maybe waiting off until the actual trade deadline of course i do expect us to make some moves on the trade deadline episode that i'm going to be releasing soon but i think with the dallas stars getting off to a 23 8 and 5 start i think they've earned the right for me to go out there and explore the trade market and see if I can improve this team even more. And while I was simming these 15 games, guys, I was in heated trade discussions with the New York Islanders the entire time because they have a young right-handed defenseman that I think could take this team to the next level. And that player is Noah Dobson. He's 84 overall. He's only 22. I really think he would take our defense from good to great. So I'm going to do everything in my power right now to get Noah Dobson on the Dallas Stars. So Alexander Radulov is someone who's been interesting to me. He's 35 years old. Yes, he's 82 overall. Yes, he's a good player, but he doesn't really fit in in our top six. And he's been really weird as far as line chemistry is concerned. We have to give up some talent to get talent, obviously. And I think Radulov is a good piece to do that. Of course, Alexander Radulov is 35 years old. Noah Dobson is only 22. So we're going to have to add in some picks. I'm hoping this second rounder in 2022 is enough to get this deal done, but we'll see. All right, let's go ahead and offer this trade. Okay, so unsurprisingly, they've rejected that offer. So I'm going to go ahead and add a third rounder next year in 2023 and see if that'll get it done. Let's go, baby. Noah Dobson is a Dallas star. And we're back. And you guys can see the updated lines there now after the trade. Dennis Malgren's going to slot in there on the right wing on the fourth line. And on defense, that top pair remains untouched. I'm not going to move Yanni Hagnapaw. As you guys can see, when I have Dobson on that top pair, it goes to a minus two, which is kind of surprising. So we are going to leave the one and only Yanni Hagnapaw on that top pair. Noah Dobson's going to slot in there beside Essa Lindell on the second pair. And then we've got the rookie and the vet. Thomas Harley and Ryan Suter on that third defense pair. On the power play, I've got Heiskanen and Dobson on both power play one and power play two. Dennis Malgin is going to be wearing number 62, while Noah Dobson is going to be number five. So, all right, guys, it is now time for our first gameplay in today's episode. It is against the Pittsburgh Penguins. And usually we do the AI versus AI game to start, but because we just made the huge acquisition of Noah Dobson, I think we're going to hop in there and I'm going to control the team and play the game. I'm hyped, guys. Let's get into it. Oh, hack and fall with the early penalty. No. Don't want to 
let him set up here. Oh, don't want to give him that. Nice block, high skinning. Let's get that down. Good job, Suter. Block one, Suter. Oh, nice save, Odinger. Split hit. Let's go, Delandria. Got some speed, kid. Oh. Nice plays. Yeah, back to Delandria. Oh, what a save, Tristan Jerry. Oh, Akinpa. It's been a little off to start this game. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. Another big PK here in the first period for Dallas. Out of boy Dobson. Go get it, Glenn Denning. Go get it. Yeah. No. Let's go high skin. Five on three. Get back high skinning. Yo, high skidded! No way, bro! <laughs> what just happened? Oh my goodness, I can't believe that went in. We just got out a five on three. I don't even know what just happened there. I feel shocked. Yep. Good save, good save. Need cover, need cover, need clear. Let's go. Oh no. Oh, huge. Play it. No, don't play it. Oh, no. I can't believe I played it. I can't believe I played it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a save. Nice hit, Rupe Hints. It's probably going to do it. Yeah. Shots 9 to 5. We're out hitting them by 3. Time on attack is nearly identical. The passing percentage is pretty good on both sides, especially for Pittsburgh. And it may be 1 nothing, but we are definitely going to have to cut down on our penalties. Whoop. Oh, Rupe Hints. Oh, shit, hold him. Let's see. Here goes Hack and Paw. He's loose. Get loose, Hack and Paw. Oh, yeah. Hack and Paw, baby, let's go! I actually get the Dallas Stars rolling in this one, seeing Yanny Hack and Paw drive the net like that. Let's go. Hack and Paw, baby. Oh, off the post! Pittsburgh looking for that first goal of the game for them. Oh, they're putting the pressure on, but what a play! Here goes Pavelski! Joe Pavelski! Oh, but he can't get the finish on the backhand. Oh, another penalty. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, five minutes? Oh, Alright, that might have been a dirty hit. Damn, five minute PK. The Mesikov's out of the game now. Oh, Sidney Crosby, but he's shot down by Odinger. What a save there. Oh, what a poke. Ruben hits. Ah! Oh. oh, Sidney Crosby off the post. Oh man, Sidney Crosby's had a few chances. Oh, what a save by Jake Odinger. He got a toe on that one on the chance by Evgeny Malkin. One minute left on that PK. Oh, another good save there. Oh, we gotta get this out. Nice save, oh. On the rebound, Brian and Rust fires at home. Oh man, they had so many chances on this power play. It was just about time that they were gonna finally get one home there. All right, two to one. Oh my God. Oh, I can't stop the rebounds, man. Holy shit, are you kidding me, bro? Oh my good god, that was a tough period, boys. Alright, well, scores 2-2. Two two. I don't even want to say the shots out loud. 
Um, time on attack is in our favor, but as you guys can see, look at those penalty minutes. 23 to 2. We gotta stay even strength here. Big third period here. Let's go. Let's go rebounds. Let's go right around. Oh, come on. Come on, Garyanov. Yeah, walk in. Oh. Yeah, on the backhand. All day, baby. Let's go. Oh, we needed that goal. Denis Gurianov. Oh. Hold on to that. Go, bud. <laughs> oh, he still got it. Hints. Robertson. Oh my goodness. Let's go, Jason Robertson. Oh, what a berry there by the kid. Let's go. He fires it top left. Slow it down, hack and paw. Slow it down, kid. Ooh, send it up, kid. Oh, good looks. Goalies pulled for Pittsburgh here. Final minute. Hack and paw. Passes it back to Odin. We're going to cover that. All right. Noah Dobson is on the ice. I kind of want to score with him if I can. It's not what we want here, though. Yeah. Here's Dobson. Oh, all right. We're going to get the assist. We're going to get the assist. Come on, Delanger. Pick it up. No. No. No, 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 no. It's unacceptable. Where's Dobson? Where's Dobson? Give me him. Give me him. Give me Dobson. Bro. Give me Dobson. One last chance. Fuck. All right, let's go. The Dallas Stars win the game. We couldn't get that goal on the empty net with Noah Thompson, unfortunately, but huge win for the Dallas Stars. We took a ton of penalties in that game. We probably didn't deserve to win, but we came away with the dub anyways. That's how we do it. Oh my gosh. Shots ended up being 32 to 14. We let in hits and time and attack. Passing percentage is a little bit rough, but that's all right. Hack and Paul with a big game with a goal and assist. Robertson, Gurianov, and Heiskanen all add a goal as well. And then Tyler Sagan and Rupe Hints get your assists. In net, Jake Odinger had a massive performance. 30 saves on 32 shots for a 938 save percentage. Let's go, baby. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that we've been doing. I'm going to sim a bunch of games. I'm going to sim this whole next month. And I'm going to sim all the way to this Nashville game. And then that's going to be the game where we hop in and watch the AI versus AI. And of course, as usual, I'll let you know if anything happens while I'm simming. Okay, guys. So we have just finished simming all those games. We are at the game against Nashville. The boys are 32, 13, and 5. That is still good enough for first place in the Central Division with 69 points. Nice. And really, the only team that is close enough to catch us at this point is the Colorado Avalanche, who have 64 points. And Tyler Sagan is still our team leader in points. He's got 52 points in 50 games. So he's over a point per game and he's got 31 goals and 21 assists so now all that's left to do is jump into this next gameplay it's going to be the nashville predators versus the dallas stars in nashville ai versus ai let's go all right here we are bridgestone arena in smashville should be a good game between two heated divisional rivals opening face off won by the nashville predators and we are underway as roman yossi takes a huge hit from yanni hack and fawn here he comes Makes the pass to Jason Robertson on that left side. Makes the cut to the middle. Takes a slap shot and it's blocked there. Here comes Philip Forsberg and the Nashville Predators. A nice pass. Neo Niederreiter and a save by Anton Kadobin as he makes another save there. Here comes Pavelski. Down the left side. Pavelski makes a move. Picks up his own loose puck. Finds Hackenpah. A nice play by Hackenpah. Pavelski. Second. Scores! What a shot by Tyler Sagan, low left side, as he beats the Nashville goaltender. It's 1-0 for Dallas. Here's Noah Dobson now. Makes a good play to his defense partner, Esselin Dallas. The Dallas Stars break it out of the zone now. Here comes Jimmy Ben. Untouched, takes a shot, and UC Saros with a nice glove save. Over to Nemesnikov now. He's in onside. Tries to center it out on the backhand. McDonough makes a nice play. 
Here's Grimaldi, takes a slap shot. Kadobin's wise to it with the glove. Eight minutes, 27 seconds left here in the first period. Nashville wins the faceoff. Dante Fabro gets drilled trying to take the shot. Here's Rocco Grimaldi. He finds his man out for the one-timer. And Colton Sisson scores. What a shot there. Nice pass by Grimaldi. And this game is tied one-to-one. Rupe hints on the left side. Hit there, almost loses it, but now he's held up on the boards. Four players battling for that loose puck. Nashville comes out with it. And a massive hit! Yanni Hackenpaw there! Look out! He works it in by himself. Finds Glenn Denning, but that shot's blocked. Here's Hints out front. He tries to fire it short side. Can't find it. Now a slap shot there, and that is going to end it for the first period. It's 1-1. One to one. Good period there from both teams. Close game, as you guys can see. Shots are 5-4 to four in favor of Nashville. Time and attack pretty close. A minute and a half to two and a half minutes. So some pretty good back and forth action there. Two more periods left in this game. Let's see who can take the dub. Second period underway now. As it's a tie-up on the face-off. Here's Niederreiter. 1-1 one to one as we start this second period. And a great chance by Niederreiter. What a save by Anton Kadobin there. Wow. You'll see a slap shot, but it hits bodies out front. I don't think that puck ever made it through to the net there as Dallas walks away unscathed. Here's Rupe hints now. Finds Heiskin in. Jason Robertson scores! What a play by the Dallas Stars as they work it around. They find Jason Robertson streaking in front of the net as he fires it home. 16th on the season for Jason Robertson. And the Dallas Stars are up 2-1. to one. Here comes Philip Forsberg now. 2-1 to one Dallas. 14 minutes here in the second period. Oh, and another good one-timer chance there by Nashville. But this time, Anton Kadobin makes the save. Loose puck here behind the net. Ryan Johansson has it. Skating around, looking for the man. Finds Tanner Janot. It's saved. Elsa Lindell on him. Big hit there by Duchesne. And we might have a fight here, folks. Are they going to drop the gloves? No, they're not. Oh, come on! Four on four action now. As the ref decides to take one player from both sides. So we're going to have some extra space here on the ice. Let's see if either team can take advantage. Here's Joe Pavelski on the left side. He walks in, finds Noah Dobson. He stops up, takes a slap shot, but it's wide. Pavelski up front, and you see Saros with a nice save. Face off one by Nashville there. That's the end of the four on four. Here's Johansson, fresh out of the penalty box. Takes a shot and a nice save by Kadobin. Thomas Harley now finds Ty Delandre, the two rookies. Delandre in the corner, loose puck. Still has it, Nemesikov now. Here's Thomas Harley. Dallas cycling it in the Nashville zone. Let's see if they can make something happen here. Ty Delandria walks out off the post. What a chance for Ty Delandria. What an opportunity is here comes Nashville now. Colton Sissons, the goal scorer, as he takes a good shot there. Good save by Kadobin. Here comes Jamie Ben. The action is starting to pick up here. Here comes Joe Pavelski down the right side. Stops up. Takes a backhand and Saros makes the easy save. Just under 45 seconds remaining here in the second period. Dallas with a big faceoff win. Heiskin in. A dangerous shot, but you see Saros makes the save. Here comes Granlin now. Seven seconds remaining. Let's see if Nashville can get a chance here. And he can't though as Yanni Hackenfall makes a huge hit. That's going to do it for this second period as the Dallas Stars lead 2-1. to one. Great second period there for the Dallas Stars. The shots are now 14-11. to 11. They're also leading in hits 20-12. to 12. Time on attack is super close. Both teams are just over 4 minutes. And both teams are passing at over 90%. But it's all going to come down to these last 20 minutes. Let's see which team wants it more. Third period underway here as we are in a one goal game. Either team could win this game here. As Rupe Hintz makes a nice play as he beats like two Nashville Predators. Walks in and scores! Rupe Hintz with a fantastic individual effort. What a goal by Rupe Hintz. That man just single-handedly scored that goal for the Dallas Stars. I'm just going to say it. This guy fucks. Am I right? Hack and paw now. Look at the skating ability from the big man. Finds Joe Pavelski. Who saucer passes it to Rupe Hintz. I think he got a stick on that. Forcing UC Saros to have to make a tough save in close. Nashville cycling down low. Out front. And a one-timer there in the slot. That was dangerous, but it got blocked by somebody. Might have been Noah Dobson. I'm not sure. Nashville still with the puck here. Granlin finds Tanner Janot. 
to Eckholm and a great blocker save there by Kadobin. But Nashville still has the pockets. The Dallas Stars cannot get it out of their zone here. Tied up now. Pucks loose. And there's Grayling up front. Two backhand chances and what a job by Anton Kadobin as he shuts down Michael Granlin up front. Ryan Johansson now. Eight and a half minutes. He finds Colton Sissons and he snipes it top left. What a shot by Colton Sissons. After a ton of glorious zone time and chances for the National Predators, they finally break through. They do get this game back to within one goal. Here's Colton Sissons. He has both goals as he fires one. That almost hit the top right corner. Man, Colton Sissons got a nice shot. Nashville now. All the momentum on their side. Big hit by Noah Dobson there, though, as that silences the crowd. Dumped in there. Here's Ekholm. Five minutes left. Great work by Rupe Hints behind the net. He finds Pavelski. Pavelski works it down low. Here's Rupe Hints to Delandra off the post. What a chance there to go back up by two. Dallas still has it though. Here's Rupe Hints to Pavelski to Delandria and a great save by Saros. But he plays the puck. And Nashville, McDonough's crushed there. But Nashville is going to get this puck out of their zone. Here comes Grimaldi now. Walks in and a great save by Anton Kadobin. Final minute now. Here comes Nashville as they work it in. Dangerous spot here. Kadobin. Makes a nice pad save. Directs it to the corner. Jimmy Ben takes a hit from behind. No call there, but he collects the loose puck. Dallas has it now. Under 30 seconds to go. Nashville is going to have to hustle. They've pulled their goalie. Good defensive play. Ryan Suter. He finds Pavelski now. He's up the right side. Joe Pavelski had the open net. But a good play there by Nashville. They've got 13 seconds. Good save by Kadobin. And a great save there by Kadobin as he gloves it. Covers it down for the defensive zone faceoff. Here we go. It all comes down to this faceoff. Seven and a half seconds left here. What's going to happen? Nashville wins the faceoff. I believe that puck hit a body and went wide. And we've got a penalty here, I believe, to the Dallas Stars. Yep, Joe Pavelski is going to get called for the trip. But that is a beautiful penalty. We'll take those penalties all day. Oh, beautiful. 2.7 seconds left. And a huge face-off win by Luke Glenn Denning. And the Dallas Stars are going to walk out of Smashville with a huge dub. Oh, what a game that was. What a great game by the Dallas Stars. And what a great game by Anton Kadobin, our backup goalie. So the Dallas Stars, of course, walk away with a 3-2 win. The shots end up being 19-20 in favor of Nashville. And the time on attack was pretty close, but Nashville led by about a minute. So after that huge victory, the Dallas Stars are now 33-13-5. Looking at our player stats on the season now, guys, Tyler Sagan leads the way with 53 points in 51 games. Rupe Hintz is also at a point per game with 51-51. and 51. Robertson, Pavelski, and Jimmy Ben are all having great seasons with over 40 points on defense Miro Heiskanen leads the way with 32 points in 51 games he's a plus 17 so Miro Heiskanen has been playing lights out of course Yanni Hackenpah has also been killing it on that top pair with Heiskanen he's got 14 points in 47 games and of course our newly acquired stud right-handed defenseman Noah Dobson he's got 20 points in 51 games and I would expect his offensive output to increase now that he's on this Dallas Stars squad in net Jake Odinger has played 40 games he's 24 12 and 4 with a 906 Save percentage and a 285 goals against and Anton Kadobin has done well when called upon he's 9-2-1 in his 13 games with two shutouts a 9-11 save percentage and a 239 goals against looking at the scoring race for the entire league Andre Kopitar actually leads the way for the LA Kings he has 61 points in 52 games Nathan McKinnon is tied with him he also has 61 points but he's done it in 53 games. Ovechkin has 60 points in 48 games with 31 goals. Jonathan Huberdo is having a great first season on the Calgary Flames as he has 59 points in 54 games. And rounding out our top five, and of course also our leading defense scorer in the league is Quinn Hughes as he has 58 points in 52 games, 52 of those 58 points being assists. And as you guys can see there in the goalie race, Darcy Kemper leads the way with his 30 wins for Washington. And Jake Odinger is fourth in the league with his 24 victories. And guys, the Dallas Stars have been killing it all season. And this man has been sitting in free agency all season long. Forever. Forever. We have $9.2 million in cap space. So we have ample cap space to sign this man. So I think it's finally time that we bring Phil Kessel to Dallas. Going to offer him one year on a one-way deal for $1.9 million. And Phil Kessel says he's going to get back to us tomorrow about this offer. So... 
things are looking good there. But that's where I'm going to end today's episode, guys. So you're going to have to wait and see on that Phil Kessel contract offer. We are getting close to the end of the season and we are getting really close to this trade deadline. That is going to be our next episode. It is going to be the trade deadline special. I expect us to make a ton of moves. Of course, even if Phil Kessel signs his contract, we are going to have a ton of cap space. I think we have a lot of areas that we can improve on. So definitely be on the lookout for that next episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But until next time, moose out.